So hello everyone, welcome back to the React Masterclass by my project ideas. And today we are going to see what is a filter method and together with its use cases. So as in the previous lecture, we have uh, learned about the map method and uh, it is just similar to the map method, but with some differences. So uh, it, also uses, it is also applied on the arrays and lists and both will return a new array or list with a slight difference. So the filter method will take a function that returns a Boolean value or a condition. Uh, suppose that uh, I want to filter out the values inside the array which are greater than two. Then uh, it will give me a new array with all the values greater than two. So based on the condition, a new array is created and written. So the condition will be checked on each element of array inside the filter function. So this is how we define the filter method. Uh, in this case, a list is defined for the numbers one to five. And then we are uh, applying this filter method together with a function with a current element. And it is returning a Boolean condition that current element should be greater than two. So the result will be three, four, and five, because those are the only three elements which are greater than two. So inside the filter method, we are passing an arrow function that return a Boolean value. Just, uh, just keep in mind that there should be an arrow function which will return a Boolean value inside the filter function. Okay, so now we will see the filter method in its practicality. And so this is the example from the previous map method video. And I will show you like uh, how to make, uh, how to use a filter method with an array. So there are various ways. So we will just try the simplest approach. Suppose this list is given for a particular or a particular set of people with together with the ID and name. So what I want is I just want to exclude this ID number three from this particular list. Uh, suppose if, uh, this list is containing all the people, but I don't want any people with ID number three. So what I will do is I will make another list. And which will be list dot filter. And then it will be returning a Boolean value with for a current element. ID should not be equal to three. So as I have already told you, like filter method will return an array. So now we will have a list two. And inside this list two, we have just filtered out this previous list. And we just excluded the elements which have the ID as three. Or simply there is only one element. So this will be excluded. John Smith will be excluded. So instead of list one, I will use list two to map here to see like uh, how many total items are in this list. So as my project is already running, and now if I go to the browser, as you can see, one, two, and four, the three is excluded completely. So this was the simpler method. So there's also one other way to do that, but it is same thing, literally same thing. So what I can do is instead of list, I will just put the filter method here. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of a messy code, but it will work too. I just put the same thing here. Current dot ID, which is not equal to three. Okay. Now if I see, there are same results. The third number ID is excluded for the John Smith. Okay, fine. And what if I have uh, just uh, put like that only written when the ID equal to three, then it will just return this one element, John Smith and exclude all the other elements. So now let us see, John Smith is only there. So when do we use this method? So suppose I want to delete some element inside the filter, uh, sorry, element inside a list, then we will use a filter method. So this is how we use a filter method. And suppose, uh, like your uh, uh, list is changing very frequently and uh, 
सो यू कैन फिल्टर आउट मेनी थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन अबूलियन कंडीशन और अ सर्टन कंडीशन दैट इफ दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट इज ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड आर नॉट एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट ट्राई टू सी वाई हैवन वी पुट दिस फिल्टर मैथड आफ्टर दिस वन Uh, I can do this also like that, but why not? Because a map method will return an array of elements. But what we are returning as this particular element, this p tag. So this p tag is not a number, or or it will it is not an object that will contain the ID field. It is a HTML element or a JSX element, whatever you say. So this will be not this will be undefined so that's why it will not give out the results as expected and let's see if, what happens if you do this all the results are there nothing is happening so that's why just uh, because of the current is undefined because the current is a p element not a object which is containing the id and name so that's why it will not work and just like before this will work and uh, nothing complicated i think uh, that is fine that is enough for you to understand the filter method so now let's just focus on the use cases so when we filter when we want to filter out and render the list with specific details and we use the filter functions uh, we are also filtering out the results based on the certain conditions such as e-commerce stores using price ranges and uh, a particular brand or a particular color and many more things and we can also use the filter to implement static search functionality on our website so suppose like uh, i want to search any item in the cart so together with the map method i can apply the filter method that uh, will only give out a item matching a specific spelling so I, as i already have mentioned like uh, we can combine the map and filter method together and we will be exploring this in the future so here's the conclusion we can filter out array results and return a new array based on some conditions by using the filter function on an array or a list filter and map are widely used functions to make dynamic lists inside our applications in react js and thank you for reaching here And I'm very excited to see you in the next video.